Pom poms. And they were so easy to make, and then just like kids around, and you can do so many things with them. Ah, look at them! They're so cute. They're like little balls of complete and utter fun. And normally, when you make pom poms, you make them into like big ones. But in this tutorial, you guys are gonna learn how to make them into tiny little, tiny, tiny, tiny ones. Because pom poms, la 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 la. Oops. Oh gosh. They're just falling all over the place. Okay, so here's a tutorial on how to make these really cute pom-poms. Okay, let's start. So first you're gonna need a ball of yarn. You can use any color you want. And then a fork. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, so really simply, just take your fork and then the end of the string. Lay it flat like this. And then just start to wrap it around. And then just keep doing this until it's about as thick as you're gonna see like how thick I make it. Okay, so once you get it about as thick as this, you can make it thinner if you want. Um, however thick it's gonna be, it's how 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 thick it's gonna turn out when um when you make the ball. That and then get your scissors. I'm actually using nail scissors here because it's uh, really easy and it's really small. But you can also use small craft scissors if you want. And get another string. Ideally, you should use the same string that you've been using. But then, just for the tutorial, so it's easy for you guys to see, I'm using a white string. And thread your string into the middle hole. Like that. And then bring it up and to the center gap, just bring it up like that. And tie a knot. Just tighten it like this. And while it's kind of tight, just pull it out. And then just tighten it some more. And then quickly do a double knot. So that's what it looks like now. Here you have the little loops around it and yeah. Okay, so this part is kind of tricky. But just get your little scissors and then just hook it onto the one part of the loop on the side. And then just start to cut. And you just want to cut all the loops. Now you'll see that under there's like another set of loops. You're just going to have to cut that all over again. Okay, so we're done cutting it all out. So as you can see, the loops have turned into like non-loops, I guess. So obviously, this does not look like the pom-pom that we wanted to make. So we're just going to play around a bit with the fingers. Okay, so this isn't a ball. So what we want to do is trim it so that it becomes into like this ball shape. So just like cut around the side to make it more circular and then just keep doing that. After you trimmed it for a while, just play with it a bit more and shape it. Okay, so that's it. Um, I've trimmed it to like exactly to the ball size that I want and this is what it looks like now and it's just perfect. If you want this rainbow effect, then you need to buy rainbow yarn. Otherwise, if you use like one color yarn, you'll get like one color pom-pom. And then here's like a purple and white one and a blue pom-pom. It's really cute. If you want to keep like these yarn lint things, then that's really fun, I think, for another project. So there, um, that's about it. Then you'll have all these pom-poms. Wow! Okay, so we're done, you know, like you have all these, just make as many as you can. Um, it's really fun if you're like sitting watching TV, you just make like your little pom-poms or you know, in class if you're bored and the teacher doesn't see you. So that's about it. Bye!